Over the last two and a half years, I've raised $2.2 million in venture capital from top investors like Y Combinator, Afford Capital, and Tiger Global. Today, I'll share the entire journey. Hey everyone, my name is Ish, and today I'm gonna to be talking about what is venture capital and my journey to leaving Facebook and raising my seed round from Tiger Global. First, let's talk about what is venture capital. Venture capital is simply an exchange of investment for equity in your company. It's one of the many ways to build a business in the modern era. Before venture capital, if you wanted to start a business, you'd actually have to go to a bank and get a massive loan with horrible interest rates that a lot of the times you just couldn't pay back. This was a pretty terrible system because the risk for starting a business was so high. Not everybody could afford to take on these massive loans. It was too risky. And in the end, it throttled a lot of innovation. Early venture capitalists basically had this realization that if you could invest in a company and it ultimately succeeded, the profits from that investment would inevitably make up for all the failures. And in turn, this would foster more innovation. It would allow more people to take the risk to actually start a business. Now, venture capital is not the only way to build a business. You really can go the loan route as people have in the past, but you can also bootstrap. The cost of building a business just continues to go down and down and bootstrapping just means you take on no outside funding and build your business based on the profits that you're generating. Now we've got that out of the way. Let's talk about my journey to ultimately leaving Facebook and then raising venture capital to fund my current edtech startup. When I originally left Facebook as a software engineer in 2019, I actually decided to bootstrap. I had saved enough money to go about a full year without working. And I knew that if I was going to be able to raise venture capital, I wanted to do it on good terms. So for the first year of my business, I worked off of just my savings. I grinded away, experimented, tried to get a little bit of traction that I could eventually take to VCs to fund my larger vision. When it finally came time to raise venture capital, I realized that I had one really unfair advantage. I was no stranger to the startup world. I had spent years all the way back from my freshman year of college building relationships, working with other startup founders. And this ultimately led me to introductions to prominent VCs all over the country. So in the fall of 2019, I set up meetings all across Silicon Valley and met with investors of all shapes and sizes and secured my very first round of venture capital. It was called a pre-seed round and it was about $300,000. This was a really game-changing moment for the business. Finally, I had actual funds to work with. I could not just pay myself the bare minimum to get by, but I could also invest in hiring designers, contractors, even another full-time employee to help me build out the business. This is another really big benefit of venture capital. It allows you to get to the end result in half the time. You are investing to get your business results faster. And that's what VCs like to see. I won't talk too much about my startup here. If you're interested, you can check out the description for a link to our website, but at a high level, you can just think of it as we are in the online education space. This is relevant because come March, 2020, the pandemic is in full swing and we just happen to be at the right place at the right time and we start to experience amazing, amazing growth. Ultimately, this leads me to landing a slot in the first ever Y Combinator remote batch in 2020. I've already created videos about my experience to getting into YC and going through the first ever remote batch. So if you're interested in learning about that, I'll include links in the description. If you're at all familiar with YC, you know that YC essentially in exchange for 7% of your company will give you anywhere from $125,000 to $150,000 of investment. And this is really to put you through a three month accelerator program at the end of which you get to present at demo day. 
at Demo Day, you get to present to 2,000 investors across the entire world. And it is one of the most exhilarating experiences and terrifying experiences at the same time. The big benefit of presenting at Demo Day is the ability to raise capital very, very quickly. Normally raising a traditional seed round can take anywhere from two months to six months. The majority of YC companies, it takes them a month or less. We started meeting with venture capitalists two weeks before demo day and unexpectedly ended up closing our entire round by the Friday before demo day. Tiger Global offered us a term sheet just a couple days before and ended up putting us to a round total of $1.75 million. If you've been doing the math, you know that $300,000 of investment from pre-seed, another $150,000 from YC, and then this $1.75 million, that adds up to a total of $2.2 million. So now, having gone through all of that, what did I learn? For me, I really walked away with four main lessons. Lesson number one, Validate your ideas. Don't assume that your first idea is going to be a home run. For most people, it's not. It's years and years of iterating to figuring out what works, what doesn't. We're two and a half years in and we are still figuring it out. Lesson number two, build a network. You'll notice that for me, my startup journey didn't start when I left Facebook. It had started years and years before. I never would have been able to land those meetings with VCs if I hadn't first gone to hackathons every single weekend when I was a freshman in college, if I hadn't interned at Facebook, if I hadn't reached out and built relationships with other startup investors and founders. Lesson number three, a no is not a no, it's a not now. You can't imagine the number of people that have said no to me, whether that's potential hires, investors, customers that over time, once you've built a relationship with them, ultimately say yes later. So a no is a not no, it's a not now. Remember that. And the last lesson I've learned in my journey is that there are other ways to build a business besides venture capital. Venture capital may seem this like magical thing, but in the end, there's a lot of strings attached. You lose ownership of your business and you are diluted. When you run a business using non-dilutive techniques like bootstrapping or different types of capital, you don't have to give up control. And I've met amazing founders who've been able to build crazy large businesses with taking little to no venture capital. There's many paths to success. Don't be fooled. Find the one that's right for you. And that's all I have to share today. If you enjoyed this video, would really appreciate a like and a subscribe and check out all the links that I've included in the description. Learn more about my business as well as other articles I've written around this topic. With that, this is Ish signing off.